I'm not looking for problems here, Butcher. One toe out of line, and you're dead. That's your guy, at the top of those stairs. If you need me after, I'll be in my cell. You're Lon Chabet. In the flesh. And you're the notorious Badlands Butcher. Welcome to Viridian State, my friend. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? I know that the Warden offers certain prisoners a deal. Prisoners like you. So, uh, you're looking to take advantage of the offer yourself? Fuck no. I just want to see where Endrin takes the prisoners who do. The lab. You're very well informed, my friend. Well informed enough to know that nothing in this life is free. I give you what you want in exchange for a small favor. What can I do for you? You see, two of my men think that the time has come for me to, uh, retire. A man can't advance in this world without possessing certain values. Ambition is one, of course, but so are prudence and loyalty. I take it these two men were neither prudent nor loyal. Yeah, you catch on quick, I like that. The names are Neil Jordan and Eric Ross. What can you tell me about Neil Jordan? Neil has a job in the workshop during the day. Uh, do be careful when you take care of him, though. They watch that place like hawks. That said, all sorts of accidents can happen in a workshop. <laughs> all sorts. Where can I find Eric Ross? Uh, Eric's in quarantine. Most of the prisoners that get the Endron treatment usually spend a few days there afterwards. I hate to tell you, but unless you can find a way in, you'll have to wait until he comes out. Mm, I don't have time to wait. Guess I'll have to get creative. I'll take care of your men. But once it's done, I expect you to hold up your end of the bargain. Hey, Lon Chibetta is a man of his word. Good? Lon tell you what you wanted to know? Not yet. He's not the kind of man to give up anything for free. Wants me to take care of two of his men. Who's getting the chop? Name Neil Jordan ring any bells? He's got a job in the workshop. I need to take him out in there somehow. Make it look like an accident. Huh. You know... A few days ago, a guy wound up in the infirmary after a workshop accident. The machine he was working on overloaded. It was just a bit of extra voltage, but it gave the guy third-degree burns. Maintenance fixed up the machine, and everything's been okay since, but you know how finicky machines can be. How do I unfix it? There are some voltage controllers in the workshop. If you want to make sure this accident is fatal, you're going to want to put them all out of order. Apparently, Eric Ross is in a quarantine cell. I need to get at him regardless. Ross? Huh. I hear he reacted really badly to the treatment. Never stops asking for drugs. And that guy? Eesh. He'll swallow anything you give him. Still, they don't exactly keep the poison within arm's reach around here. Check the infirmary upstairs. Something in there should do the trick. That should be all I need. Thanks, Dusk. If you need me again, you know where to find me. Those elite guards? I'm sure I recognize one of them. Listen. Flex cons. Please. I'm burning. My insides are burning. Please, stop it. Give me something. Anything. You have to have pills or an injection or something.
sure I recognize one of them. No surprise there. They're all ex-cons. Even Hadley. Been like that since Hendren bought the prison. Should be getting some tomorrow, unless he ends up in the infirmary. He's not looking so hot right now. Where did you put that last batch of drugs? I left everything on the table in the staff lounge. Seth wants us to send him everything before tomorrow, but the drugs still need some work. The dosage is too high. Right now, taking just one would put you six feet under. I've got to redo the dosages. Well, there goes our chances of an on-time delivery. Good. Just need to slip one of these to dear old Ross. Shit.
machine won't go haywire again? I've double-checked everything, Neil. You're good to go. I even cut the main power supply and put you on a backup generator to be extra safe. It won't be hooked up again until after you're finished. Happy? Now shut up and get to work. Neil Jordan. Won't be easy to take him out without being spotted. Dust told me I could overload the machine. First, to open all those valves. Cords occupied. Now, fuck off! So you're the infamous Seth? No, if you say so. Something wrong? Looks like you're having a bad day. It's that fucking treatment. It burns. Sounds to me like you accepted Endrin's deal. Listen, shithead. I'm not in the business of shooting the breeze with any old asshole who just... Wanderers in here. Just tell me what you fucking want. If you got their treatment, you've been to their lab. Where is it? Oh, the lab? They put a bag over your head when they take you there. And I. Who the fuck are you to talk to me anyway? Did you not hear me? If you're not here for business, you can go fuck yourself. I heard you sell stuff that you can't find anywhere else. Where did you hear that? <laughs> the boss man himself, Lon Chabelle. You're in with that greasy motherfucker. I knew I didn't like your rat fuck face. Careful now, I'm not your enemy. Not yet. Either we talk business, 
before I'm out of here. More new blood. <laughs> Thinking they're hot shit. Fine. What you looking for? Uppers. I can do that. And how do you intend to pay? That depends. What do you need? You've just come through the gates and you think that you, that you can give me something I don't have. I'm the fucking Badlands Butcher. Name it. Ah, so you're the Butcher. I've, I've heard of you. But I've also heard you died in your home state. Where was that again? South Dakota. And the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. The rumors of yours won't be if you keep fucking around. Whoa, now, Butcher. I'm sorry, I didn't realize. <clears throat> Perhaps we can come to an agreement. I give you your fix. And if I got a problem with someone, you give me a hand. Not a bad deal, right? I can work with that. Perfect. I have my stuff stashed at the bleachers. Take whatever you like. Guys, open the door for him. Those elite guards? I'm sure I recognize one of them. No surprise there. They're all ex-cons. Elite guards? I'm sure I remember. No surprise there. They're all ex cons. Even Hadley. Been like that since Hendron bought the prison. Eric Ross, got pills for you. Thank God. I was at the end of my rope. What? What's happening to me? That does it for one target. Now for the other. So, what news do you have for me, my friend? Your two men are no longer a problem. Now, for your part of the deal. Very good. Lon Chibetta is a man of his word. Take this pass. It'll get you into Hadley's office via the infirmary. You'll find a secret passage into the lab from there. Best of luck, Butcher. I get the feeling this is farewell. So do I, Lon. So do I.
This is Hadley's office. Let's see. No. Found it. Laboratory. That's where they took Adana. Subjects four and seven are reacting badly to the treatment. Eric Ross and Seth Aguero. I have to find her as soon as I can. It's something we see often with heavy users of psychoactive drugs. Their cellular structures are weakened even before the treatment. So, when we inject the serum, the metamorphosis is quicker and notably more painful. That's oh shit! No, no, no! <laughs> Subjects 4 and 7 are reacting badly to the treatment. Eric Ross and Seth Aguera. So I noticed. It's something we see often.
That girl who was here earlier. I just wish we would have had more time to study her. They have no limits. The cellular structure was fascinating, wasn't it? I picked up your scent from down the corridor. You're like me, aren't you? Who are you? My name is Onawa. I am the pack leader of the Red Talons. And who are you? Onawa. I've read Indrin's reports about you. My name is Kahal. I've heard of your tribe. Wild, ancestral, solitary. Hard to believe Endrin could get their hands on the leader of such a renowned tribe. Endrin. They set up their factory and their pipelines in the territory of our cairn. We pushed them back for months. But that whore with the mechanical arm she showed up out of nowhere, and managed to drive us into a corner. We had little choice. I gave myself up in exchange for the lives of my people, and an end to the slaughter. Tank Girl tried to destroy my cairn as well. I killed her. Good. I hope you made her suffer. I take it they captured you after you were finished with her. No. They took Adana, my daughter. They brought her here. I came to get her back. Adana's your daughter, is she? I met her. They had her locked up in the cell next door. I was their first subject, but I didn't give them the results they were hoping for. Whatever they are doing, I think it is linked to our first change. Adana hasn't gone through her first change. Their tests on her came back positive. They took her off to Endrin's headquarters. To do what, I do not know. Take me with you. All that awaits me here is death. Good work. Now, follow me.
This door leads into an underground parking garage. Steal a truck. We'll need one to get to my can. There are guards. For Mori, I can feel it. And I am in no state to help you. You've got to do it alone. I need more men. So, Carl, what are those outsiders doing in my territory? It's not just Endrin spreading across my territory. 
We have been invaded. Ava and her Lambda Mankind. I know them. The Red Talons do not like humans. And there is only room for one pack here. The humans are with us. They're fighting for Gaia. Humans are the reason we need to fight for Gaia. We should have snuffed them out at the dawn of their existence. These humans are on our side, and we have no intention of settling here. We'll leave as soon as we've managed to rescue my daughter from Endron HQ. So, you intend to fight Endron? We could use your help. No. We have already lost too many. We will not join you. However, I will clear your path. My wolves tell me they have already attacked your people. Those attacks will end. You may operate on our land with impunity. At least, until you finish your business here. Stay longer, and there will be war. Go now, and pay your respects to our guardian spirit. Parchua tells me that he is waiting for you. rescue my daughter from the claws of Endrin. The claws of the worm. You would travel hundreds of miles for your daughter. And yet... And yet you abandoned her yourself once. I can see it. Yes. For five years. Along with rest of your pack. Are you truly worthy of my confidence? Can you even still call yourself warrior of Gaia? And now, you fight beside humans, beside the enemy. Not all humans are servants of the worm. But all are blind. They will never understand the wild. Or the worm. They try to apply the order of the Weaver to everything, Gaia included. They will never admit that Gaia is a wild, uncontrollable entity, and that she demands sacrifice. The Gaia you speak of is a stranger to me. Neither my people nor the spirits we protect see her as such. You dare to question me? Have you any idea to whom you speak? I have served Gaia and the Wild since time immemorial. Long before your pack or your pathetic spirit. Easily swayed by the call of the worm. I do not yield as the worm encroaches on my territory, but face it head on. Yet it still spreads everywhere around you. Only your cairn seems to remain untouched. Our cairn is all that matters. And we are ready to make what sacrifices we must. Onawa has taken that role upon herself, but she may not be the last. 
Now go. Pursue your quest. I shall judge your work. Feel the hate that flows through her and her guardian spirit. Ava, can you hear me? Oh, there you are. Head to our bay. We we'll set it up near the road leading to Indra territory. They're a different pack than the Gahal. ones at Tarker's Mill. But We're gonna have to be careful. you're alone. I'm sorry, Ava. They'd already moved Adana out of the prison by the time I got there. Ah, shit. Do you know where they've taken her? Endrin's Nevada HQ. Now, that's what the leader of the Red Talons says anyway. The Red Talons? Those fuckers have been attacking my people since we got here. Rest assured, they won't attack you again. I freed their leader from Endrin's grip. They captured another Garu? They were experimenting on her before they captured Adana. Apparently my daughter makes a better test subject. Those fucking bastards. We'll save her, I promise you. The leader of the Red Talons agrees to hold back her wolves until they get Aiden back. But she's not going to help? I think she's using us. We take the risks, she reaps the benefits. At least they'll leave us alone. I'll take it, but have you seen the wall that protects those Indran outposts? It's surrounded by a minefield. Nobody here can get through their defenses. Only you. So what have you got in mind? I've been working on it for a couple of days, but I think I figured out how to deactivate their landmines and get you into an evac duct. It'd be too small for a human, of course, but a wolf could get through get to the other side and take care of their outposts? Deal with the men guarding the terminals in each outpost and connect me. Once I'm on their network, I'll be able to clear you a path through the maintenance zone. It's the quickest way into Endron HQ. Go see Declan. He'll tell you how to get past the minefield. Hey, you're here. Follow me. I heard they took your daughter to their HQ. I can't even imagine. We just have to get her back. Tell me about the outposts. There are four entrance sites inside the perimeter. To reach them, use the evacuation duct. And the minefield? Go around the perimeter wall, but keep your distance. You'll see a red mark on a rock. From that mark, go straight towards the wall. Once you've reached it, stay close. Follow the wall until you find the entrance to the duct. From there, it's all up to you. Good luck.
This desert is being devoured by the worm. But I still feel the cairn holding strong. What do you need? Remind me how to reach the evacuation duct. Go around the perimeter wall, but keep your distance. You'll see a red mark on a rock. From that mark, go straight towards the wall. Once you've reached it, stay close. Follow the wall until you find the entrance to the duct. From there, it's all up to you. Good luck. Why do you ask? Just curious. Makes you wonder where Andrin finds the money to buy all these labs. <laughs> That's not much of a You know Pintex, right?
nothing to it here. Press me. Ugh. Uh, uh, Trespass! Get ready to get routed!
Ava, I've cleared out the outpost and connected you to the network. Good. I'll try to take control of Indran HQ's surveillance system. I've learned more about the Earthblood protocol. The stuff they're injecting into their soldiers acts directly on their immune system. It seems like the experiment they've been conducting had to do with the protocol, too. guards we took prisoner. I don't know. It's up to Declan and Ava. But I really don't see them walking away after all this. our attack on those activists. They've fucked with us for long enough.
attacks on their outposts haven't gone unnoticed. They're gonna bulk up their defenses. Make a list of everything they've done to the environment here.
Check the minefield. All clear. Mm, perfect. I want to report every hour. HQ's orders. In hmm. Hostile confirmed. What the? Ah. There's an intruder in the area. Be <laughs>
almost. <laughs> Smoke that thing! We have won this battle. I wonder what Onawa would say.
Okay. Okay, just stay calm. They'd never attack us. Not out in front of their HQ lab. We've got full control of the outposts, and Ava stopped their machines. They're not pumping oil anymore, that's for sure. Now there's just the HQ left. I'll take care of it. Alone. I get it. Good luck. Ava, I'm at the gate to their HQ's maintenance zone. Get moving. Every second counts. Taken all our outposts, and they're coming for us next. Let's show them what that is. This report was printed shortly after I reunited with Adana.
Wait for me, AD. I'm coming.